What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Doom 2 The Way We Remember It on Ultra Violence. This is map 12, Tori the Fuck. Very interesting level name there, but we know it as the factory. We got 131 kills, one item, and two secrets. So we got less items, less secrets, and some more enemies than usual. You'll notice right away it's a lot more open, bigger buildings. We got some mancubi over there that weren't there before but anyways we're gonna head over to this building you'll notice the textures in here are different and it's a lot more open less cramped which i actually really like this version that cramps art was really annoying trying to get up these platforms sometimes but anyways let's head to the red brick building over here you'll notice this is quite a bit bigger as well and there's no door on the other side, so what we're gonna do is just run all the way through. Get all those imps up. We'll take out this Arachnatron, and then start firing some rockets over at the imps from here to avoid the other Arachnatrons and the Mancubi. All right, let's take out the remaining imps. And then we'll take out the Mankey up here. Alright, now we're going to head all the way around. We're going to take out all the Arachnotrons on the outside path here. Alright, one more Arachnatron. Should be all of them. Yep, we're good. Alright, let's head inside this building here. You'll notice this building is different as well. A lot taller, darker, and the crates are much different. Including that staircase up to the Baron, which I really hate. You'll see why in a second. Oh, you sneaky imp. Alright, so you'll see here, it's not actually a staircase. You have to go up on these crates here to actually get on the staircase. Which is a very weird choice, but... Anyways, let's head up here. I'm just gonna grab some ammo. Anyways, let's head through the teleporter up here. And we're gonna get met with the imps. There's four imps. We're gonna shoot the one right in front of us and then take out the three behind us as quick as we can. All right, so we have four switches, which is different from the original. These three with the green, don't hit them. It'll activate a crusher, which didn't exist in the original. And you won't be able to escape and it'll just crush you to death. So hit the red one, it's gonna take us up and we're gonna get met with the room with the Mancubi that we know, but there is a lot more Mancubi. So we're gonna grab the Supercharge, and we're gonna make a run for it. Uh, let's run this way. Run past all the Mancubi, take out this one right here. And then from here, we're just going to take out a bunch of this Mancubus army. Oh, you snuck around behind me. Alright, let's grab some ammo if there's any. This you can't open like usual. We'll be back for it. Now let's use some plasma. Alright, 
head over here. We can't forget about the couple of Mankibai here, as well as the Arachnatron. Grab the backpack. No blue key here this time, because there's no blue key in this version. We just need the yellow key to get to the exit. Let's head over here. We're gonna have some lost souls around the corner, as well as a pain elemental. Oh, thought he shot three times. All right. That should be all the enemies down here. We're gonna head in here. All right, so the door doesn't close after we head over there. That's just gonna open up with the Mancubus and we're gonna have a couple other enemies. Watch out for right here. There's a little pit that you cannot escape from at all. You will just chill there and die. So what we wanna do is head across here and then we can just take out the imps and shotgunner and we'll take out the Mancubus. And there's nothing really over there for us. You can grab some health if you need it, but we're done with that spot. Let's head, uh, let's head in the green here. All right, so this is a little bit different. You can actually see the path in this version. And when we hit this switch, it's gonna open up the spot back there, but we're gonna have a pain elemental instead of Kakos. Alright, we're gonna grab the green armor anyways. And then we'll head out. And we'll head inside here. And we're gonna run all the way across. And it's gonna drop down like in the original, but there's gonna be revenants and pinkies instead of shotgunners so let's get ready for that all right pinky teleported away all right you see this is a little bit different than the original we're gonna hit this switch right here it's gonna create or lower this teleporter which again was not in the original but you'll see why in a second. So this here's a room, and you can see there's writing on the ground. So open up the map, and you can see the message from the map creator. Yeah, that's all right. This is a it's a big map. It's a confusing map. It's easy to forget some things. Anyways, what that switch did do, and what it did in the original is open up that there. So we're going to head inside here for secret number two. That chain gunner sounded like a shotgunner. That was really strange. Alright, grab the BFG, take out all the chain gunners in here. Alright, and that is going to be everything that we need to do in this area. So we're going to head down here, hop through the red teleporter. And we'll hop down here, head to this building. Oh, we didn't grab the yellow key. Ah, that's right. I completely forgot that one spot that opened up. Also, that is a very strange little thing there. That's not what was in the original at all. All right, wanna head over here. So this spot right here is opened up and instead of a chain gunner, we have an arch file. Grab that yellow key card, and now we can leave this place. Alright, let's head through here. Watch out for the revenant. And now for the most annoying part of the level, we'll take out all these cacos.
All right, that's all the kills, all the items, all the secrets. And now we have to open up a sequence of doors here and definitely feel like there's a lot more switches than the in, in the original. And in very weird spots too. We have to go all the way up and all the way down for some of these. All right, hit that switch. Now we'll wait to lower back down. I just realized how low my health is. All right, hit that switch. Don't believe there's a switch in there. Do believe there's a switch all the way up top in this one. It's the one I'm thinking of though. I don't want to hit it. I think it is. There is a switch up there that's different from these ones and it'll actually activate a crusher and it just makes traversing this room more annoying than it needs to be. So we're not going to hit it. No switch there. Do believe there's a switch up top here. Yeah, we just hit it from down below so we don't have to go all the way up. Is that all the switches? Yep, so that is all the switches that we need to hit. Got some health there, so we're good to go for the next level. Anyways, like I said, we got all the kills, all the items, all the secrets. Let's hop into the exit and we are done. Alright, that was Tori the Fuck, aka The Factory. 100% kills, 100% items, and 100% secrets. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you noticed any changes that I didn't mention. And also make sure to subscribe as it really helps out. And I'll see you guys next time.